Okay, so, Brian, welcome to ULM. Thank you very much for being here. You know, the, my best half, my wife Selena, who everybody is asking where she's at, I know she's the better half, and my three boys are back in California preparing for the move. So she can't be here, and I know she wishes she could be. This, this is a great day for our family. You know, when, when we looked at the opportunity at this institution, in this community, we were so happy when we came here on the interview to be a part of this community because it's a great place. Everybody is so friendly. Everybody is so so willing to, to go out of the way to answer questions. And to me, that's what makes this place special. So I want to start off by thanking certain people. Oh, sorry, I got to take the hat off. <laughs> so sorry, the, um, I want to start off by thanking Dr. Bruno. And, and, and if you ask me, and last time I was asked the two reasons why this job was, was the right fit for me. One was the great people of this community, and the other one is Dr. Bruno's leadership. When I spent time with him during the interview process, I know he and I shared a lot of the same philosophies. And it's not just because my dad's a former accountant for 27 years, like Dr. Bruno, but I know he, he's a numbers guy, but I can relate well to him and his philosophies. And he really wants to see this athletics program succeed. I want to thank Scott McDonald and Jeff Foote through the process, they, they answered a lot of questions. I appreciate Scott, and his, his boss told me I took a lot of time from his office to do the search. And I, appreci I pre appreciate Jeff's um, help through the process. This is a special place, a special opportunity f for me. You know, I want to take the time to thank Chancellor White, who was the, the chancellor that hired me at the University of California, Riverside, to give me a chance to sit in the AD chair for the first time. And Chancellor Connolly, who's now the interim chancellor, who came in and trusted me, asked me questions, and let me keep running to help make progress at that school. Both of those individuals helped me um, be in a position to, to have some knowledge and experience that I know we can put in place at, at this program. So I'm excited about that. And let, let me tell you my background. I'm not going to give you, a, everybody knows the schools I've been at, but I'll tell you that the key people in my life in this profession that have really influenced me and helped me sh turn into the, the leader I am. Mike Alden, Athletic Director at Missouri. Ross Bjork, the athletic director at Ole Miss. Cheryl Levick, the athletic director at Georgia State. And Bob Stoll, the athletic director at UTEP. All bosses of mine that gave me stuff to do, let me learn, let me experience, but let me move the program forward. And it's because of those four individuals that I'm in this position as well. So they, they were great for me, and that's the type of boss I want to be to help this program move forward. I know this is an exciting time to be part of the Sun Belt, with the changes in the conference membership, with Todd Berry's success last year and the anticipated success this year, the success that Coach Richard's putting in place to bring the basketball <clears> program <throat> back to the, the levels of the 80s, it's an exciting time. There's some things that I want to do. First of all, who does not have season tickets for football? Raise your hand. We got the order <laughs> forms right here. And in my portfolio, I have the donation form, so let's get everybody signed up for the Athletics Association. I'm not kidding. <laughs> Nobody's getting their checkbooks out. Let's get the checkbooks out. Um, but, but what I want to do is, because this is a great community, I want to build, I want to build a lot of relationships. I want to build those relationships on campus with the deans, which I met, with the, you know, the vice presidents of this campus. I want to build relationships with the people in the city. I want to build relationships with the farming communities. I, you know, I talked about an event coming up in August that's going to be in Bastrop. That's great. I want to go to Farmerville. I want to go to the, the alumni markets and build relationships. This program has the potential to be competing for championships in the Sun Belt every year in every sport, regularly, on a regular basis. And that's what, that's what the support will help us do. You know, when people talk about the success of an athletics program, it isn't about the athletic director. It's about the 350 student athletes that we make commitments to their parents and the, and the student athletes on the recruiting chips. So we're going to give them a great experience. And you can't give them a great experience unless you give them an opportunity to compete for championships. And that's, that's what our goal is going to be. I met with the staff and the coach this morning. Everybody knows that's my number one priority. And when we, if we do that and we give them a chance to have that great experience, what's going to happen next? 
is that we're going to start making the university the perception of anybody that has not been on this beautiful campus to see how great a campus this is. We're going to make people who have not been in this incredible city come to the city and see how great a place it can be. Athletics is going to be something that can trigger the growth and the positive perception and do remarkable things for everybody in this community. And for that, athletics will get some good support. We're going to sell season tickets. We're going to grow crowds. Now, I don't want people to jump out of their chairs, but you know, we need to approach playing Grambling State on a regular basis. We need to play Southern. And one thing that I'm bound and determined to do is I want to play Louisiana Tech in football every year. <laughs> Not because I like Louisiana Tech, but because I think it's important for this community. When you have something 26 miles away, it's a good rivalry. I ran track at Kansas State University, and we played Kansas in every sport. And on those days, whether there's a softball game or even golf or basketball game, that rivalry made the environment, and that environment helps the student athlete experience. So I want to make a point to, to get Louisiana Tech back on the schedule. I've heard lots of different reasons why they're not, but I think it's good for our community, it's good for the community of Ruston. So that's one of my top priorities to try and work on that for the future. <coughs> Football scheduling is hard to do, but I think it's something we can manage to get done. I want to, I want to improve the facilities. You know, you talk to the coaches, you know, there hasn't been a facility maintenance plan in place to, to improve the facilities. There hasn't been a plan to build new facilities. Well, that's part of the student athlete experience. That's what we need to do. So we're, we're going to do that. And it's going to take building relationships. It's, you know, my, my four core values are relationships, integrity, service, and excellence. You know, I want to build relationships with everybody I can. I want our department to build relationships with everybody. You know, I was raised from great parents, and I have great integrity, and I know Dr. Bruno does as well. I want to do things and everything with integrity. And I want to provide great service to our student athletes, to our fans, to our donors, to the people of this community, so that when they come to an event, they want to come back. That's important. That's all going to make this place be great. And then excellent, I want to do great in the classroom, and I want to do great in athletic competition. That's, if we do those four things and follow those four core values, which we're going to eventually put a strategic plan together for the department, we're going to be a department that's proud. We're going to be a community that's proud. We're going to be an institution that's proud. And we're going to win championships. And then everybody in this room, we won't be talking about a, a new athletic director. We'll be talking about, OK, who's going to hold the next trophy? Where do we put all the trophies? That's what we're going to try. That's the problem I want to have, is I want to win and have a lot of success. You know, athletic success is contagious. And it, it goes into the classroom. It goes in, into everybody that, that we come into contact with. And with Dr. Bruno's commitment to help this program continue to move forward, continue to generate revenue, and continue to make this be a critical thing for the community, I'm ready for the challenge. And I'm super excited to be a part of the ULM family. And if there's any questions, I'd be glad to answer them now. And I just want to say, go Warhawks. Yeah.